Hey Track Gang, what's going on in this week's episode of the Beauville Newtown? Well, it's right over here. Stand by and we'll get into what's happening this week. Well, hello, track gang. Sorry, I just swung the chair and hit my uh, drifting board. Um, welcome to episode... I have no idea what episode this is. It probably would have helped if I would have looked before I got started. But that's okay. Whatever. Um, it happens to be the 22nd of February, 2024. And I have no idea what episode for 2024 this is. So we're just going to roll with it. Um... Been, well, as you all know, last week I was paid a visit by our fr one of our friends from down under and across the big pond, uh, and that would be Mr. Artie over at the Oz American Model Railroad. Um, we, had a, we had a blast. Actually, this time, it happens to be Thursday, this time last week I was actually up in Oxford, PA, up at the small, Sawmill Grill for the second time with uh, Mr. Rick Bailey and, uh, and Artie, and... Uh, we, uh, we had a blast. Uh, I think we, we ended up staying there for like two and a half hours just chit-chatting, eating dinner. Um, so it was a good time. Good time, good people. So that was the, one of the reasons why there wasn't a video last week. Um, beside the fact that I also needed to figure out what I wanted to do with the wall. Um, as you all know, I ran into an issue um, with the way I did it before, and it's actually laying over here on the, on the layout. Um, but I've come up with a couple ideas, and one of them actually was something that I had already started thinking about, and then Mr. Joe Rader, when we went over to see him last Thursday, no, Wednesday, that's right, we saw him Wednesday. Um, we, um, I, I, him and I were, well, the three of us were kind of talking, and he mentioned that, you know, hey, I've got an idea. What about, um, you know, just cutting uh, where the archway is and, and doing and, and butting it up? Well, that would work. There's no question. And then I had, uh, I told him what my thought was, was to actually peel back the paper and then cut around or cut it out to where the uh, bricks would mesh. But I decided I'm going to probably take that a step further. I'm not quite ready to do that just yet. I've got a few more bricks to lay out on the uh, on the new boards, and I, I don't even know if this is going to show up or not. But but as you can see, I even went right through the archways because I was like, I'm being lazy. Um, <laughs> I just decided to go ahead and make the lines go all the way through, and then I'm going to cut the archways out once I get everything lined up. Um, so, like I said, on the second board, I've got most of the brickwork laid out, um, but now I have to finish out over top of the archways. That's the only thing that's left. I'm going to do that now on the second one, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a test to see how well my idea of actually, I guess, gear toothing uh, the bricks is actually going to work. So, once I get there, we'll do that, but we'll be back. Okay, folks, well, <laughs> that, I think, is going to work out a lot better. Let me, let me try to swing this over and down a little bit now. You notice I've only got one archway cut out. That's, that's fine, because I just wanted to do this one as a test. I really only need eight archways total. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or I could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I've still got the eight that I need to cover um, the other part. Now there is one issue, and I'm not even sure if it's showing up on camera, but we'll uh, let's see if I can zoom this thing in just a tad. There we go. 
Um, apparently when I made the mark, uh, I wasn't quite on. <laughs> That's not a huge problem because this upper piece is actually um, that uh, jersey wall that I keep talking about. So this is going to be a little bit different up here anyway. I kind of left it on there for the time being um, because I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. Um, but considering the fact that I made that little goof there, what I may end up doing is just cutting like a four foot, a scale four foot piece out of a, another piece of the foam core and then just cut it to lay in there and you'll never know the difference. Um, because I'm going to be cutting those, I think those are every, I think they're supposed to be five or six foot long. Um, what I'm thinking about is what we use, what they're, what they use on the highway, um, uh, for media or for uh, dividing uh, the different or the north and southbound or east and westbound lanes on the highway that's kind of what my thought is and like I said I think those are probably about five foot long so they would be let's see in, in each of, or in the, on this here they would be one two three four it'd be about a about um, oh five eighths of an inch so that's that's a possibility like i said i'll deal with that later i'm not worried about that but one of the things that you can't see is where the other if you if you ignore that you can't see where the splice point is because like i said what i did is basically geared it or toothed it to where they'll just slide it on each and and they're and they're done and i do have my my four inches between either side of the archway and actually this moved a little bit there we go um, so when I go to make the rest of the cuts and I lay it on the the backing board like I said it's not gonna be you're not gonna you're not gonna know well you're gonna see that for the time being but eventually that's gonna disappear as well so I'm I'm quite pleased with that I don't think you can really you know in person you're not gonna be able to tell that it's spliced there other than the fact that, like I said, that goof up there, but like I said, I can fix that. So the next step is, is to cut out the rest of the archways and then um, go ahead and put it on the backing board and see what it looks like and then we'll be on to, uh, on to paint. So we'll be back. All right, folks, before I go cutting off the excess, this is where we're at. Sorry, it just, I don't know why, but for some reason one of the wheels was caught and it tilted the uh, thing here, but I've also got to do a, a cut here, which I knew about, and then obviously down here on the end, we've got another cut we have to make. Um, so I've already marked the back, but I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with that. So, I mean, we've still got a lot of work to do, or I've still got a lot of work to do, I should say. Um, I obviously have to etch all the stonework out and get it prepped for um, paint. I'm also going to have to go back and do some minor touch-up uh, on the backing board because I realized for some reason when I cut this one, this new set, the uh, new archways, um, I actually did it right, and they're where they're supposed to be, and the problem is, is if I were to glue this down today, there's spots that the dark gray on the back doesn't line up, so I've got to, you know, like I said, I've just got to, got to clean that up a little bit so that you won't see the fact that it's, you know, an outer part and an inner part, so... That's that, like I said, that's a minor fix. Um, this outer wall will not get painted the light gray like it was the last time. It will get painted dark gray just like the back. But what I'm thinking of doing is actually using, um, instead of the sandy pail that I picked up, I might use the linen as the, uh, as the mortar for the outer part. But we'll see. Okay, um, I'm going to end this one here. Um, 
couple of things uh, just real quick. Um, obviously having Artie here last week was an absolute blast. Um, believe it or not, but we really didn't run trains, um, although we did. I did run a couple of my older steamers across the front here. Um, we were looking at uh, 611 again because it's still got issues and I think I know what the deal is with that nail. Um, and it has to do with the way that the wheels are set up on the tender. Um, it may come down to where I may have to, I guess, for lack of a better term, dummy flange the middle wheels. Uh, or, I shouldn't say dummy flange, or remove them. Um, something like that. Uh, I'm going to look at it a little bit more and see how I want to possibly mess with that. Um, I think what it is, the trucks are on the on the shorter side, and with the 22 inch radius S curve, it's 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 trying to do two curves at once, and it's not happy with that. Um, I was looking at the tender on the 282 and the 2102, and those are much longer trucks, um, so that could possibly be maybe a fix for this thing. Um, we'll see. That'll be down the line. Um, but at any rate, again, uh, thank you all. I do need to, at one point, and it's not going to be on this video, I might do it next week, uh, I do need to do a another shout-out video. I know I've picked up a bunch of subscribers, and I thank you if you are a new subscriber. Um, I greatly appreciate it. It's what keeps this community going forward. Um, you know, I actually had somebody hit me up, the uh, or sent me a mess, not sent me a message, but sent a... Um, Left a message on one of my videos. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry, I'm I'm deal. I've been dealing with a head cold since Saturday afternoon, or Saturday Saturday yeah, Saturday afternoon. It hit me. Um, it's a sinus sinus thing, and it's it's just been driving me nuts since Saturday. Um, and no, it's not what Artie had. <laughs> this, this is something completely different. Um, it, it's really got to do with the weather being hot cold hot cold hot cold you know yeah, whatever um any rate um i regret I, I, I digress um i had somebody leave me an, uh, a message on one of the videos that i did this was actually back in 2020 folks so if that per if that, if that subscriber is watching thank you for for commenting he's he met, left me a, the message of i wished i would have seen this video before and the video that he was talking about is the bridge guys uh, back in you know September, October, November 2020, uh, 2020 when we did the Central Valley Works bridges. And I let, went ahead and sent him a message to that one saying, well, that bridge looks completely different than what it did when I got done with it back in 2020. And he's like, do you have a link to that? And I went ahead and gave him the link to the... Uh, the episodes where I went ahead and kit bashed that bridge. Um, but again, like I said, I do appreciate everybody um, that is in the community, that subscribes to me, that hangs out, listens to me sit here and ramble on about absolute garbage most of the time. But hey, I am who I am and, and folks will tell you I'm just the same way in person. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just as goofy on here as I am in person. So. It is what it is. Um, one other, th a couple other things of note. This coming Sunday is Sidetrack Sunday. It'll be on my channel at 8 p.m. U.S. Eastern. No idea what the heck I'm going to talk about yet. I'll figure it out when I get there. Typical. Um, the other, the other thing is, is we've got about a month and a month or so, maybe a month and a half. Two months before the next uh, train show down here in Timonium. Uh, that'll be April 28th and 29th, I believe it is. Um, I do know that uh, Uncle Wilmer and uh, the Flying Crow, I do believe, are talking about coming back in. This meet and greet is more or less his. Um, but because of the fact that my house is so close... Just like last year, I'll probably have a few folks come back here after the fact. Um, I do want to mention, and I really apologize for this one, um, Chris from the Baltimore Streetcar Museum was actually at the February train show um, and was selling some stuff off that was 
uh, donated to the museum by one of their uh, members who had passed away. Um, they had a lot of books, um, a couple of which that I have already, but um, they had books, they had railroad memorabilia, they did have a few pieces of rolling stock. Unfortunately, it was not something that I was looking for. They had it in HOO and uh, I think there was a few pieces in N. I don't know if he's planning on coming back in April or not, um, but hopefully maybe he does and we'll get to see that again. Uh, also, I know that uh, March the 3rd, I believe it is, is he is going to be the dispatcher down at the Barmore Street Car Museum. And I'm actually thinking about uh, going back down there, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, <laughs> of course, that's a week away, so hopefully this thing's gone by then, but who knows. Um, but I'm, I'm probably going to make another trip down there, because that was just a blast. They, they are great people to hang out with. Um, you know, uh, I'm still debating on whether I want to get my uh, motorman's, uh, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, qualification. Um, I'm still thinking about that. Um, I think that would be neat because, I mean, that, where else can you run a one-to-one -one railroad? Um, and it's D.C. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, <laughs> had to throw that little zinger in there any rate, uh, I'm going to call it here. You all know the deal. Wait for the highball. Green trucks ahead. We'll catch you all next time. Be safe. God bless. We will see you.